Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new to How Very Horsey. Um, I'm really looking forward to sharing this video with you. I spent the day with Monty Roberts at Hartsop Farm in Whitney and I learned so much in just a day. I'm still learning when it comes to vlogging and I haven't got the sound right by any means. And it's really hard to video him because he just shares so much and you want to get all the good bits. Um, but I hope you get some interesting stuff from this as much as I did. The problem with being ahead of your time is that the time people, by the time people realize that you're right, they will say it was obvious all along. <laughs> yeah, the pioneers get shot. Um, every new idea that comes out gets a lot of firing power. But you know, there's some good in that too, because there's a lot of bad new ideas. <laughs> and you do have to go through the hoops. I'm not saying you have to be shot <laughs> at all, but what I am saying is that hoops are not a bad thing. Um, because my number one was, it's my life's goal to leave the world a better place than I found it for horses and for people too. My second one was, violence is never the answer. Violence is always for the violator and never for the victim. No one of us was born with the right to say, you must or I'll hurt you, to any other creature animal or human. And number three was a good trainer can make a horse do almost anything. A great trainer can cause the horse to want to do it. My message to you here today, my responsibility to you, is to help you learn a pathway, a road map, if you will to causing the horse to want to do it. And being able to read when the horse wants to do it and when he does it. Yeah, and we'll sort of, he doesn't like yielding and moving away and he will sort of step and barge quite a lot. Um, he doesn't like standing <coughs> still. Um, so I sort of got into the habit of tying a hay net when I tie him up because if there's no hay net, he won't stand still. When I go to mount him, he's developed a few techniques. He'll move away from the mounting block, or he's worked out that if he moves over the mounting block, he can push me off the mounting block. <laughs> he's pulled a post out of the ground before, and he's broken numerous um, baler twine loops that I tie him to. And they will test you in the same way that a four-year-old child will test you. When there is a partnership where the horse really does respect you, and you get along in a partnership, they're a happier horse. They eat better, they live longer, uh, they, everything in their life is better when there is a mutual partnership, not just a one-way partnership of you do what I tell you to or I'll hurt you. That's what the horse is doing. You do what I tell you to or I'll hurt you. So we're heading out to meet Charlie. Now, I'm telling you, we are dealing with an intelligent horse here. We, we are dealing with a horse that's probably going to be very easy to change in a very short period of time. I'm so encouraged by what I see. Monty got to work with Charlie, talking us through, step by step, what he would do with a horse with these kind of issues. Immediate alterations is what was needed to correct the behaviour. Charlie wasn't hugely forthcoming, and Monty spoke a lot about how low heart rate and low adrenaline in a human will have a massive impact on the horse, something I definitely wanted to ask about later. We even got to mounting, lots of repetition and little corrections. It's so tricky, I'm trying to get good snippets of you guys today, and Monty just says like cool facts all the time, and I can't quite get them without videoing like the whole day. Um, he just said about swishing tails be a sign of a memory of a pain, so it's not necessary. And whilst you say, oh, three seconds, so you get three seconds between, um, for a consequence to happen. So something happens and you have to react within three seconds for them to link between what they did and the consequence. But I can't get the footage, I was like, oh God. I, I don't know of a horse that runs faster when you whip him. He may 
once or twice you frighten him and he may pick up some speed once or twice after that there's resistance to it there's a an attention getting factor to it they shift their body and run at a little more of an angle which means they run slower and if you stop and think about it how stupid do we have to be to think that if you had kids learning to go to the Olympics running a mile and some guy comes in and says look coach this guy isn't giving 100% in the last 100 meters, so I think we'll go along behind him on a jeep or something and we'll whip him across the backside and he'll go faster. I mean, it defies imagination to think that you teach a guy how to run, you teach him form, you know he's trying to run, and you whip him and he goes faster? It's so stupid, there's not words to describe it. What about this one? 70% of all accidents in racing happen within 15 or 20 strides of the whips coming out. It generally happens with about 400 meters left to run. And about 70% of the accidents happen there. Horses duck and dive and cross each other and step on each other's feet, trip, fall down. So the jockeys cannot make this argument that, oh, we need them for safety. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You have this thing that you've got to be as good as the boys, and I won a race, and the stewards called me up. Sorry. It was really horrible. I was there whipping a horse that I loved. She was just in the papers. Um, Kelly Marks rode her rivals to sleep. You know, I was brilliant. That's what everybody wanted to see. And I was like, never again am I doing that just never again we then moved on to the second horse jazzy similar issues to charlie but also not being keen to be caught either monty again worked about consistency repeating behavior to develop a fairer partnership monty is quite firm in his reactions to schooling but you can just see that the horse is re-establishing a partnership she no longer has to be the boss and i think she was actually happy for that she also said the issues aren't fixed. It all comes down to consistency every day being the same. A really interesting learning point there. Um, how owners talk that the horse can't do something or won't do something. And the owner was saying, oh, my horse can't back up or won't back up. So when we go on hacks, we don't do gates because she won't back up. And Monty was like, no, no, she can back up and you need to teach her how to back up, but that we actually make a rod for our own back when we kind of write these stories that our horse can't do this or won't do that. Well, we need to work on them wanting to do that, being able to do that and understanding and wanting to do it. Really interesting. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sorry, Monty Daisy just wants to ask something for her Hi, vlog. Hi, for my vlog. Um, you talked a lot about low pulse rates and low um, adrenaline. If someone is perhaps quite nervous, what advice would you give for them to kind of achieve that as Lessons best they can? Lessons in diaphragmatic breathing. Lessons in diaphragmatic breathing. It doesn't mean that the person that's consistently in the 70s, heart rate, is going to do diaphragmatic breathing and wind up in the 40s. That probably isn't going to happen. But the person in the 70s is able to wind up in the 50s. I guarantee it. It's teaching children to lead horses from the shoulder. The horse should be led from the shoulder. You cannot lead a horse from the shoulder. The horse is leading you. His head's out in front of you. And generally around, right in front. Of Only disadvantage with having young people come along is, uh, uh, you know, doing join up. They are so good. They pick <laughs> things up. They, it's like instinctual. They pick things up so quickly that it's harder for older people. That it's sort of going, I need to stand where. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, learnt lots, like I did. Um, it definitely got me inspired. Um, I loved it how he spoke about children learning things and getting it right from the beginning as his original token 12-year-old child on tour with him. Um, I felt quite proud of that one. Um, next stop is his demonstration next week at the Grange. So I will make sure I share lots of behind the scenes. So check that out too.